Welcome to Electronic Geek. In this video, we will be seeing the simulation of blinking an LED using the Arduino Uno board on Proteus 8.9 software. So, uh, first of all, in Proteus, if you want to uh, simulate Arduino based circuits, you need to have its library imported. So, for that, I have made uh, another video on how to in install the Arduino libraries in uh, Proteus. So, by doing that, you can easily uh, simulate your Arduino based circuits on Proteus. So, uh, let's start with the designing of circuit. So, firstly, we'll be needing an Arduino Uno board. So, search for it and this is the board we'll be needing an led and a resistor now comes the designing of the circuit so you take the uno board and uh, place it like this rotate now our task is to blink an LED. So we will be connecting this particular LED to uh, any of the digital pins. But uh, before uh, before connecting it directly with any of the digital pins, as we know, LED is supposed to be connected through a resistor. So uh, we'll be using a resistor over here. Now, if if you uh, try to calculate the value of a resistor, then uh, uh, we uh, we will have to calculate the value as follows the output pin the digital output pin of uh, uh, the Arduino Uno board can supply either 5 volt or 3.3 volt uh, if you are using it normally then uh, uh, by default it is 5 volt so the uh, value of this resistor can be calculated by the formula of uh, the supply voltage minus the uh, forward voltage of uh, LED and divided by the uh, current through the LED. So this parameter of LED can be found by double clicking on this LED or uh, click and open properties. See uh, here the forward voltage is 2.2 volt and uh, uh, drive current is 10 milliamps. So uh, if you uh, try to calculate it, what it will become, uh, it shall be 5 minus 2.2, which is 2.8, divided by 10 milliamps. 10 milliamps is equal to 0 0.01. So, divide by 0 0.01, which gives us 280 so the resistor that has to be taken in series should have a value of 280 ohms double click change the property change it to 280 and now you can connect uh, the resistor pin to any of the uh, digital pin let's say 10 it's fine and uh, connect the ground to the led Now you will have to power up this Arduino and for doing that you can either use a battery or a generator. I will be using a DC generator and uh, connect it to VCC. Under properties change the value to 5 volt and uh, yeah you can change the name if you want let's say supply. Now our Arduino is powered up. So as our hardware setup is done, now comes the coding part. So for that, we will be uh, writing our code on the Arduino ID. So let's open that. This is the Arduino ID. Uh, here we are supposed to write our code. If I talk about the syntax, uh, the syntax is uh, quite a similar to C++. So if you are a bit comfortable with C or C++, it will be very easy to do. So there is a basic difference between our normal C++ code and the Arduino code, which is this, uh, these two functions, which are the void setup function and the void loop function. Under void setup, you need to configure your hardware and you have to specify uh, certain things as to uh, what particular component will be doing or if you are initializing some kind of serial communication, then the basic initialization part is to be written under the void setup part and uh, the void setup runs only one time while the code is compiled. 
in uh, case of void loop uh, whatever you write keeps on running until the arduino is powered up so this is the basic difference and now coming to the uh, our code so for that as we have seen that uh, in our circuit the led is connected to pin 10 so we will be using a data type called integer and we will be initializing pin number 10 as some variable so let's call that variable as led pin and we will initialize it by giving a value of 10 so thus we have assigned the value 10 which is the pin number which is the digital pin number to a variable called as led pin now under void setup uh, first thing that you will be writing is the pin mode pin mode you are supposed to write like this pins in small and in mode m capital so under pin mode you have to define as to what does your led pin do so you will be writing like this pin mode and inside led pin comma output output in capital this indicates that whatever is connected to led pin is the output device now comes the loop part as our main task is to constantly uh, keep the LED blinking we will have to uh, turn it on keep it on for some time then turn it off keep it off for some time now in order to achieve this we have a function called as digital write as we are uh, as we have connected our LED to the digital pin 10 we are using the digital write function in case if it would have been connected to the analog pin we would have preferred writing it as analog write so uh, right here as digital right uh, see the syntax digital right and inside write the name of your variable which is the uh, led pin comma you are defining the state of led hi now you uh, the next part is for how much time you have to keep your led on for that you for that you have to use the delay function delay and inside delay uh, you have to write the time in milliseconds so what does this delay function do this will uh, do the above mentioned task which is this for that particular time which is mentioned inside the parenthesis so uh, if you need to keep the led on for let's say two seconds you or uh, three seconds then uh, you will have to write the time in milliseconds so 3000 means 3 seconds now if you uh, go and simply upload this code what will happen is your led will be constantly on because what will happen uh, by this particular line digital write line uh, your led will be high and with the delay line it will be high for 3 seconds but again you have written this under void loop section that means this loop will keep on running that means your led will never blink in order to make a blink it you will have to uh, specify the off time also so use the digital write function again and now uh, specify this uh, uh, this led pin to be low now for how much time you need to be low again use the delay function and let's say you need to keep it off for one second only so write 1000 over here now this is your complete code in order to upload that in the protest uh, you have to save it first so and this is your path and here you have to save it as a blink any name you can give it so save it and one more thing under uh, uh, sketch you have to uh, click select this export compiled library so first of all your code will be compiled yeah and the binary file which is dot hex file is there in your location so now go to proteus so now in order to simulate this circuit uh, what you will have to do is double click on the Arduino board open properties here under the program file part uh, select this and open the directory where your Arduino uh, file was saved so uh, here over Arduino and uh, see in blink blink was the name of folder which I had saved it as 
and I have having two files blink dot ino standard hex and this is the other bootloader standard hex so select this ino standard hex open it select it ok now your circuit is ready for simulation click here on simulation button and as per our uh, expectation it should be on for three seconds or for one second start see it's on for three seconds and off for one second you can see it's almost the uh, uh, same thing as expected so thus we have uh, achieved our results in the next video we will modify our circuit a bit more and we will see how to change the code and how to achieve those uh, things using different inbuilt functions and uh, self-defined functions and all these things this is it for this video thank you for being till here thank you so much please do like share and subscribe to my channel and do give me your feedback in the comment section thank you for being till here thank you so much